Hello friends welcome back here. Even though Keanu Reeves is one of Hollywood's most adored performers, he has had some box office flops. Reeves has appeared in numerous Hollywood duds despite his popularity with the John Wick franchise and the original Matrix film. It's inevitable that he will experience some sort of failure on the big screen after an almost 40-year career and well over 50 films. Reeves continues to be the face of the contemporary gun-fu genre and is still well-liked by the majority of viewers worldwide, despite his uneven commercial success. Reeves has seen a lot of low-budget films fall flat on their faces in the marketplace. He has, however, also been a part of several expensive flops. His big break came in 1989 with Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and the Canadian actor has since become a household figure in the movie industry. Outside of his work in movies, Reeves is renowned for being pleasant and well-respected both inside and outside of the business. Reeves has built a great career with his lucrative franchises and impeccable reputation. Here are his worst box office flops along with their reasons for failing, ranked from 10 to 1. Number 10. Even Cowgirls Get the Blues. The movie had a lackluster response from reviewers and viewers alike, and will be a memory the Canadian actor wishes to forget. Despite having a $8.5 million budget, the movie only made $1.8 million, solidifying its reputation as a box office failure. Reeves and the movie's star, Uma Thurman, would go on to have far larger successes, but moviegoers did not pay much attention to or care about this film. The film's 1976 source material rendered most of its substance out of date for its 1993 release, resulting in a large loss for the producers. Number 9. Tune in Tomorrow. Tune in Tomorrow failed to distinguish itself as a major hit for the genre in a time when there were many successful rom-coms. One of Keanu's least popular films, the film failed to stand out among its rivals and instead fell into oblivion. Only around $1.8 million of the movie's estimated $11 million budget was recouped at the box office. Reeves' major break had happened a year earlier, thus there was a chance that the film might succeed. Other love movies, as opposed to Tune in Tomorrow, provided something far more substantive, which contributed to its lackluster popularity. Number 8. Henry's Crime. Henry's Crime is not by any means Reeves' most highly acclaimed film. The reviews for the movie have received a mixed to negative response, which is quite underwhelming. Despite this, the action thriller underperformed at the box office, earning little over $2 million against its $12 million budget. Henry's Crime didn't do well commercially because audiences are accustomed to this genre of film and because it lacks a compelling reason to see it. With the popularity of the John Wick trilogy, Reeves had a pretty successful decade in the 2010s, but Henry's Crime won't be the action movie that establishes Reeves' career. Number 7. Freaked. Everything in Freaked has a freaky vibe to it, even the production. Freaked had a difficult time getting to the big screens, experiencing everything from a change in studio heads to a change in the movie's name. The comedy didn't stay in cinemas long once it eventually arrived. The movie made less than $30,000 throughout its run in theaters despite little promotion and even fewer showings. Much though the movie received mostly favorable reviews, its $12 million budget made it a major failure, making things much worse. Number 6. Bill and Ted Face the Music. The reboot of the series that gave Reeves his big break failed to create the same impact as the originals. Three decades later, the economic success of the first two films did not carry over to the third film in the trilogy, which suffered a nearly $20 million loss. Bill and Ted Face the Music, which had a $25 million budget, only brought in $6.3 million throughout its theatrical run. Despite the mixed reviews for Bill and Ted 3, it was obvious that interest in the franchise had peaked in the 1990s. Remakes and franchise revivals can be successful, but because so many Bill and Ted fans left the franchise, the third movie suffered greatly. Number 5. Man of Tai Chi. Man of Tai Chi and Bill and Ted Face the Music have a comparable plot. Man of Tai Chi experienced a $20 million box office loss, similar to the last film. Although the film's $25 million budget was equivalent to that of Bill and Ted 3, it would only gross $5.5 million globally. Even positive reviews couldn't prevent the movie from losing money. A large portion of the box office success in 2013 was attributed to the emergence of superhero films as well as a few hugely popular animation pictures. The R rating for Man of Tai Chi just makes any prospect of profit that much more difficult. 
Number 4. Replicas. In the movie Replicas, Keanu Reeves portrays the character standing in front of a desk full of computers with his arms crossed and a bewildered expression on his face. Despite some of Reeves' greatest triumphs in the 2010s, there were a number of movies that failed to have the impact the studios had hoped for. Replicas made an attempt to capitalize on the success of the Canadian only one year after John Wick 2's box office success. Unfortunately for everyone concerned, the movie was a dismal failure, recovering less than a third of its original budget. Replicas was a forgettable movie following yet another difficult year at the box office, weak marketing, and underwhelming reviews. Out of the $30 million budget for the movie, just $9.3 million was made back. Number 3. The SpongeBob Movie Sponge on the Run. Surprisingly, the SpongeBob Movie Sponge on the Run was Reeves' most financially unsuccessful film to date. The movie cost $60 million to make, but only brought in $4.8 million, the worst box office loss for a Keanu Reeves production. The production was severely hampered by COVID, which resulted in several delays, thus the shortfall does not fully reflect the situation. Sponge on the Run's box office result isn't a genuine representation of how it may have done under normal conditions, even though it is unlikely to recoup its enormous budget. It seems unjust to rank Sponge on the Run above Reeves' box office failures despite the significant loss. Number 2. 47 Ronin. If Reeves could change one year from his career, it would probably be 2013. In one year, he dropped two bombs, and this one was enormous. The next year, Reeves' reputation as a commercial action star would be solidified, but if it weren't for John Wick, 47 Ronin would have done irreparable harm to his professional standing. The film's vast $175 million budget yielded just over $150 million in revenue, suggesting the enormous investment was a failure. 47 Ronin, one of Keanu Reeves' worst box office flops, struggled to find success in 2013 due to a lackluster marketing effort and a very competitive box office. And lastly number 1. The Matrix Resurrections. One of Reeves' greatest successes is the Matrix series. The first trilogy was a runaway movie office hit and a cult favorite. Years later, an attempt was made to revive the franchise, but it was unsuccessful. A $190 million budget was allocated for The Matrix Resurrections in an effort to recreate the enchantment of the original films. Instead, in 2021, the hype wasn't entirely realized. The film was the only one in the franchise to lose money, grossing less than $160 million. The Matrix Resurrection's poor box office success was largely caused by the fact that it was released at a time when remakes were becoming overdone. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.